All right, in the previous video, we added a search feature to our website so we could search for names or the emails of the users and we would filter our results. Now, in this video, we want to talk about authorization. So in the Laravel series, we talked about policies and how we can apply them to our models and certain actions. And with Blade templates, it was quite easy to use directives like can to render different elements for different users. But with Inertia and Vue.js, it's a bit different. So let's see how we can apply this in our application. So let's start by adding some markup to our homepage. For example, I want to add another column to our table. So let's have a table head that says delete. And in the table body, I will have another table data. And within this table data, I will have a button and apply some classes. So I don't have any content for it, but this is what we have. It's just a red dot. Basically, I want to make this available only to the admin, for example, and no one else would be able to see it. So we need to add a policy to our app and then use that policy to render this column only to the admin user. We already talked about making policies in the Laravel series, and it is exactly the same. So we want to say PHP artisan make policy and let's call it user policy or admin policy and press enter. Now go back to our project under app directory. We have policies and then user policy. And all I want here is a delete function. So I want to change this to delete and then accept the user and then just return true if our user email is for example, this email. So for example, this is our admin user. And if that is true, then this user is authorized to delete other users. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. So this is our policy, very simple. Now again, with Blade templates, we could easily wrap this element with a can and directive and say, can this user see this button or not? But of course we are in a view template and we are using inertia. So to handle this problem, Let's go to our web.php where our homepage is. Basically, we just want to add another prop and we want to call it can. This is just a convention from inertia documentation and we want to namespace it. So basically we are making an object. So we want to say can then delete user. So this is the ability and this is the action. And the value of this is gonna be our policy. Now remember, we apply policies to the users or to the models. So we want to check first if there is actually a user or in this case, our authenticated user. First, I wanna say auth user. If that's true, then a question mark. So it's a ternary operator. Again, I wanna say auth user then can. So this can method would take two arguments. The first one is the ability that we want to check if the, this user has that ability. And the second one is the model that is expecting. So in this case is our user class. But if there is no authenticated user, we just want to set it to null. So if I put this on different lines, maybe it would be easier to see what's going on here. So again, we are just creating a prop here and we are naming it can and within that we have a delete user key. The value of that delete user is gonna be either the return of this statement, which is either true or false, or it's gonna be null. Now you might be wondering, why do I even check? Because if it's false, then we don't show the element. But because we need an authenticated user, if we don't pass null, we would get an error if no one is signed in. So that's why I'm approaching it this way. Anyway, if the authenticated user email is the admin user, that means they can delete a user. So that would be true. Otherwise, it's going to be null. All right, so now let's go back to our view component. And first, we want to accept that can as a prop. So it's an object. And now we want to use it on these elements. So first on this table head, I'm just going to add the v if and say, if can delete user is true, then render it. Otherwise, don't. So I can just copy this and paste it here as well. That's all we have to do. So back to our project, you notice we don't see those red buttons. Now, if I register with that email, because I don't have this user and go back to the home page, now you notice we see those red buttons. Now, of course, at this point, this is just a UI, but imagine this was a real action. So we wanted to make sure that a user is only allowed to delete or update their own posts. So they wouldn't even see the buttons to update or delete if they don't own a certain post or a model or whatever we are using. And that's all about adding authorization using Inertia.js. To recap, you create your policy just like how you would do in a Laravel application. Then in order to pass that ability 
to your view components, you would pass it down as a prop. And again, by convention, we namespace it and we would add the abilities. So all of this is available on inertia documentation. And you notice this is what we did basically in our application. So I was just following their example. All right, so that's about this video. Thanks for watching. See you at the next one. Bye-bye.